Ankara expects United States to continue selling F-16 fighter jets to Turkey because it is important for NATO deterrence, Vice President Fuat Oktay said on Monday. The significance of Turkish-American defense cooperation is obvious. Our request for F-16 procurement and modernization represents an opportunity to strengthen our defense relations further, Oktay took note. Meeting our demand as soon as possible is critical not only for Turkey, but also for NATO's deterrence and defense capabilities," said the vice president in a video message to the Turkish-American Business World Awards ceremony. Oktay stated that Turkey is pleased with the administration's support for the request, adding, we expect the Congress to play a positive role in this process. Turkey applauded the recent U.S. decision to exclude certain provisions on the sale of F-16s to Ankara from the final text of the U.S. defense budget. Amendments proposed in the United States House of Representatives that would have made sales of F-16 fighter jets to Turkey contingent on a number of conditions were removed from the final defense. Spending Bill In October 2021, Ankara requested F-16s and modernization kits. The $6 billion deal would include the sale of 40 jets as well as modernization kits for the Turkish Air Force's existing 79 warplanes. Turkey's proposal for F-16s came after the country unilaterally withdrew from the multinational program to develop Lockheed Martin's fifth-generation F-35 stealth fighters, which are being developed alongside the F-16s. The country initially contributed $1.4 billion to the U.S.-led program, but was kicked out in 2019 after acquiring S-400 missile defense systems from Russia. Ankara had ordered over 100 F-35 fighter jets, and its defense industry has been a key player in fighter jet development and manufacturing. Washington claims that Turkey's S-400 air missile systems could be used by Russia to steal classified information about the F-35 jets and are incompatible with NATO systems. Turkey, which purchased the missile system after initially requesting Patriot missiles from the US but was denied, insists that the S-400 will not be integrated into NATO systems and will not pose a threat to